Okay, today on The Woodworks, I am gonna do an artichoke chicken casserole. Now, I'm always searching to try to find easy ideas for, you know, working moms out there who work a nine to five job and then they gotta come home and cook for their kids. Or even if you're a stay at home mom, you know, something that's just easy to do and kind of throw together. So let me run down the list of ingredients. It's one cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one cup light mayonnaise, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder, one to two pounds skinless, boneless chicken thighs or chicken breasts, two 14 ounce cans of artichoke hearts, 10 ounces of shiitake mushrooms, and salt and pepper to taste. So that's it. So basically you can have the cans of artichokes in your cabinet and you know, just pull them out. All you would have to do is have the chicken maybe in your freezer and then buy the mushrooms. That's it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the mayonnaise, put it in a bowl. And then the Parmesan cheese, I'm gonna use about half of this. And then the onion powder, garlic powder, a little pepper, some salt. Perfect. And just gonna mix that together. This is gonna go on top of everything. So already that was really easy. Okay, so you're gonna put the chicken down. I have this, you know, I bought a few of these for Thanksgiving and I had some left over, so really easy to do. And what I like to do is salt and pepper the chicken. And I'm also gonna sprinkle it with some garlic powder and onion powder. And then I'm gonna mix it with my hand together. Then just space it out evenly. And then of course, gonna wash my hands. And then I'm gonna Salt and pepper them again. Cause I think I explained, I've explained this a few times. This is Himalayan salt. So it's not, it has a lower sodium content. So you wanna make sure the chicken's flavored. Then I'm gonna put the mushrooms down. And I have a, a little more than 10 ounces, so I don't know if I'm gonna use it all. They do shrink a lot. Like whenever you put mushrooms on a pizza, they shrivel up and it's always not as much and you wish you put more. So trust me, this is gonna be good. And in the sky. What do you, what do you got? Okay, I've had the artichokes draining. So I'm just gonna add these over the top. Two 14 ounce cans. Doesn't matter if they in pieces or whatever. I love artichokes, so to me, this is gonna be fantastic. And it's so simple, flavorful. And then, you're just gonna spread this over the top, the mixture we had. Does not have to be neat or anything. Just get it over the top because it will all melt down into um, the, whole, the whole thing and flavor everything. And I'm gonna sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese over the top to create that nice little crust. Oh yeah, okay, so I have the oven set 
to 350 and it's gonna go in um, for about 25 to 30 minutes. So let's set the time, cook time at 30, start, be back in 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, the artichoke chicken casserole is done. Let me uh, take it out the oven. Oh yeah. Looks fantastic. Gonna plate it up and we'll be right back to taste it. Okay, got the artichoke chicken casserole. Very easy and simple. I wanna get a good bite of chicken, the artichoke and mushroom all together. And there it is, perfect bite. Oh, wow. Mm. Holy crap. Wow, the combination of the three things, the mushrooms, artichokes, and the chicken, it's fantastic. Wow, really good texture. I mean, I love artichoke, so. Mm. Well, folks, what I would say is for something so simple, I mean, it tastes fantastic. And I'm pretty, I wouldn't say surprised, but I think I am surprised that it's this good. I mean, it's, I don't want to stop eating. So, you know, try it with your kids. You can substitute, you can use chicken breast. You could use, I don't know, turkey. I don't know what else. I mean, maybe pork. You could use probably some pork. It's fantastic. Try it at home. Artichoke chicken casserole. Well, hold on, let me, you know, I don't want to be a slob. I would say mission accomplished. 